So we continue with the concentration terms and in the previous presentation we did four of them. The fifth concentration term is molality. We can express the concentration of a solution in terms of molality. How is it defined? It's the number of moles of the solute dissolved in 100 grams or 1 kg of the solvent. Now this is relative to the solvent. Abhi tak humne jitni bhi concentration terms li, that was the concentration, the amount, yeah, the number of moles of solute relative to the whole solution. Now this is for the first time we are taking the solvent into consideration. Again, it is the number. What is the number? Molality of a solution is the number of moles of the solute dissolved in 1 kg of the solvent. It is denoted by small m. You have to remember it. Molarity is capital M. Molality is small m. These are the units or you can simply write m. 0 0.1 small m would mean 0 0.1 molar solution. Mathematically, this small m is number of moles of the solute divided by mass of the solvent in kg. Also, we can use this equation. M molality is the number of moles of the solute. If you're taking mass of the solvent in grams, then you multiply it by thousand. You multiply the whole thing. That is why I've kept in it, it in brackets. You multiply the whole thing by thousand. Also, if a gram of solute is dissolved in B gram of the solvent, general equation, you know, you don't have, uh, you have a um, solute in gram as well as the solvent in grams. If A gram of the solute is dissolved in B gram of the solvent, then simply M is equal to A, that weight of the solute, divided by molar mass of that solute, molar mass of the solute, multiplied by 1000 by B. This is one entity, that is why I have used brackets just to separate them. One entity is A by molar mass of the solute, another is 1000 by B, and there is a multiplication between them mathematics but it gets a little difficult on the computer if you don't have the proper symbols to show them number next is mole fraction right now mole fraction as far as the definition is concerned of a constituent it's a property of a constituent it is not the property of the whole solution Aap mole fraction constituent ka nikalte ho abhi tak aapne molarity nikali it becomes the property of the whole solution molality nikali it is the property of the whole solution now this mole fraction is a property of one component it can be a solvent it can be a solute mole fraction of a constituent is a fraction obtained fraction of that constituent obtained by dividing number of moles of that constituent chahe hum solute ka nikal rahe ya solvent ka by the total number of moles of all the constituents present in the solution very simply we'll see the equations we'll understand the definition properly denoted by small x now presume if a solution comprises of n1 moles of the solvent and n2 moles of the solute we have this, we have taken a binary solution in which there are just two components. Then, agar aapko mole fraction us solvent ka nikal na hoga, solvent is 1 here, then x1, mole fraction of the solvent, is equal to number of moles of that component. Which component are we talking about? The solvent, therefore n1, divided by total number of moles of all the components. What are the, all the components in this? 1 and 2, divided by n1 plus n2. Similarly, if solute ka nikal na ho, it is x2 is equal to n2, number of moles of that solute divided by n1 plus n2, which is the total number of the total number of moles of all the constituents present in the solution. Now, as I told you in the beginning, generally we have binary solutions, but it is very much possible that you may have more than two components in a solution. Then accordingly, your total number hoga aap piche add karte jao ke. N1 plus N2 plus N3 plus N4 plus N5 up to any limit. And uh, N1 ki jaga jo component ka aapko nikal na hai. Aapko N1 ka nikal na hai, N2 ka nikal na hai, N3 ka nikal na hai. Mole fraction is a dimensionless quantity. One thing you have to remember is that summation of the mole fractions x jaise in this case we have just binary solution do hi components se x1 plus x2 will be always equal to 1 
how have I missed that? I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere here. I have written it in mass fraction, but like mass fraction also, x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. Agar aapke paas 5 components say x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 has to be equal to 1. The summation of the mole fractions of all the constituents is equal to 1. And mole fraction is a dimensionless quantity. The seventh concentration term is the mass fraction. Now, how do you define it? It is defined as the mass of the component per unit mass of the solution. Pura agar aap unitize karoge solution ka mass, usme fraction mass of that particular component kya hoga? Aap kis wale component ka nikal rahe ho? Component mass of that component. Presuming x a and x b are the mass fractions of components a and b respectively. When WA gram of A is mixed with WB gram of component B in a binary solution. We have a binary solution. Components are A and B. How much have we taken of A? WA. And we have taken WB of component B. Ab XA, mass fraction of A kaise nikalenge? WA divided by WA plus WB. Similarly, mass fraction of component B, XB is equal to its weight in grams divided by total mass of the whole solution wa plus wp same like mole fraction if you have more components up sa nikaloge xc xd etc etc so that xa plus xb is one and if you have more components then xa plus xb plus xc plus xd etc etc has to be equal to one the summation of all the mole fractions has to be equal to 1. Now mass fraction, summation of mass fraction, sorry we are speaking about mass fraction, it has to be equal to 1 like mole fraction. Mass fraction se aap mass percentage bhi nikal sakte ho, once you have the mass fraction multiply that value xa by 100 you will have the mass percentage of that component. Mass fraction is also a dimensionless quantity, it has no units. The last one is parts per million. Parts per million jo concentration term mein, it is used for very very dilute solutions. Bohat dilute solution ka agar aapko concentration express karna ho, we can use this concentration term. Parts per million. It is the mass of the solute in one million parts by mass of the solution. 10 is past 6, one million parts by mass of the solution. Used for very dilute solutions, for example, Salute agar hamara A hai, hume A ka ppm mein express karna hai, then ppm parts per million of that A will be mass of A divided by mass of the solution multiplied by 10 raised power 6. When you multiply this whole thing by 10 raised power 6, then only it is parts per million of A. You can determine parts per million of any component. It can be expressed in terms of mass as, per, as well as volume. Right, you say mass of that component, agar aap in terms of mass express karoge, to mass of the component in 1 million parts of the mass of all the components, right. Similarly, in terms of volume, volume of that component in 1 million parts by volume of all the components. Mass ki jaga aap volume likhoge har jaga, yaan pe bhi volume likhoge, yaan pe bhi volume likhoge, then you will be able to express ppm in terms of volume, right. In this last slide, we have few important equations. Jo hume numericals me kaam aati hai and other things, sorry for that. Jo hume numericals me mostly kaam aati hai. Normality of a solution ka relationship molarity ke saath kya hai. Normality of an acid agar aapko nikalne simply if you know the molarity multiplied by basicity. Normality of a base hai, molarity into acidity. We have an equation agar aapke paas do solutions and you have to compare. Normality N1 of one solution into V1 of that solution is N2V2. You have done this in practicals also last year. Molarity equation B hai, M1 V1 is M2 V2. Now this equation is also used agar aapke paas reaction between two solutions. Ho. If you are studying a reaction between two solutions in terms of their uh, molarities, we write down the balanced uh, equation. And us balanced equation ka firam molarity equation aise likhte hain. M1 V1 divided by N1 is equal to M2 V2 divided by N2. 
what is this n1 and n2 n1 is the number of moles of reactant 1 and n2 is the number of moles of reactant 2 right we'll do the numericals in the form of assignments in google classroom this is the end of the concentration terms